Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and on this video, we're gonna talk about the Nano Cell. This is the Nano 75. Now, I know they make a Nano 90, and I decided not to get that model for the channel because I like to get the 43 inch models that fits on this table, and the Nano 90 is not available at that size. But I will tell you, if you go with that model, you will get full ray backlights, and you will get 120 hertz. So with that being said, this is a 60 hertz television set, and it has a lot of cool features like it has Google built in, has Alexa built in, and it has a magic remote control. So in this video, we're gonna get it out of the box. I'm gonna show you guys how to put it together, how to set it up, and we'll do some basic demos, but I'll come out with a more enhanced video a little bit later. So sit back and relax, let's get started. Once you take everything out of the box, you get the instruction manual. You also get a power cord, the feet for the base and the screws for it. You get the new LG remote control and the instruction book, how to program it. And here's an example of the old remote control compared to the newer model. You can see on the new one, you have hotkeys for Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and the LG channels. And here's a couple of the pieces that comes with it for wire maintenance to secure your wires on the back of the TV set. To screw the feet in, you're just gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. And then you wanna look for the marking. There's an A and a B on these, just match it up. Plug it on the inside and go ahead and insert your screw. Now it's not difficult, but the screw is inside of this hole so you have no way to balance it. So I wish they left a the screw hole on the outside. But it, whenever you do this, try to use a magnetic screwdriver if possible. And then just go ahead and put on the other leg. So before we get everything all set up and running so I can show you guys picture samples, let's talk a little bit about this TV set. First of all, NanoCell is basically what it's doing is taking a filter and putting it over the screen. And what it's gonna do for you guys is it's gonna reject any bad colors. So everything you see is gonna be more natural and more vivid. And once we get into some picture tests, we're gonna take a look and see how good it really looks. Now this TV set is a IPS display, being that it's a 43 inch. But if you want a VA panel, you need to go to a 50 inch, but all the bigger sizes, all the way up to 75 are all IPS as well. As far as high dynamic range, it does support HDR10 and HLG. So if you're looking for Dolby Vision, this is not gonna be the television for you. Now the panel is a eight bit panel with two bits of frame rate control, and that actually gives you more of a 10 bit look. But again, it's not a true 10 bit panel. In addition to that, it is a 60 Hertz panel and it does support up to 120 Hertz motion. And what that's gonna do is smooth out any type of action scenes, as well as soccer, football, or any kind of sports. It's also gonna support just about any type of Wi-Fi, like 802.11, 2.4 gigahertz for five gigahertz. And if you need to connect any type of speaker or headphone to it, it does support Bluetooth 5.0 which is gonna give you a lot lower latency and better sound quality for those type of systems. So when it comes to the operating system, it uses that new web 6.0 that has the new black interface. In addition to that, it has a quad core processor so it can get through all your menus very smoothly. Now let's go ahead and get everything set up. And there's two ways to do it. You can use the remote control to go through all the settings, but in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to Wi-Fi and show you how if you set up the application with LG, you can detect your television and set it up pretty much automatically. So to set this up on a mobile phone is fairly easy. All you need to do is select mobile instead of TV. Now you don't need a mobile application if you want to just mainly set it up with your TV. Now, since I already have another LG television set up, all you need to do is once you get to the home screen, you just hit the plus and then press on TV. Once it scans it, go ahead and press on the TV set you're trying to set up. Now you will get this pop-up because it found it from my account. So all you need to do is go ahead and enter your Wi-Fi password in first. Once you get that entered, just go ahead and press on done on your mobile device. And now it will start connecting the television set to the internet. Next, you need to go ahead and select your language as well as your time zone. Now agree with the terms and conditions. Add this television set to your email. Agree with more terms and conditions. And hit the switch if you want to be turned on by Wi-Fi so you can connect it to Google and Alexa systems. Now it's gonna analyze my environment looking for LG products like refrigerators, microwaves, stoves, and then go ahead and enter your TV service provider, cable company, or if you use an antenna, select that. 
Now, if you're in the area for LG channels, go ahead and put in a zip code so it can set up the local channels. Now, if you haven't on the stand, go and check that. If you're going to mount on the wall, check that. And what that's going to do is make sure that the TV set has the best sound if you don't have a sound bar. Now the TV set's going to reset with updates, more terms and conditions, and now you're done. When you take out the box, all you need to do is go ahead and finish taking off all the plastic around the edges. There's some here and on the side. And on this model, I don't notice any kind of plastic on the screen, but if you do have plastic on the screen, usually it has a little tab that you can pull off. And here's an energy savings guide based off the average consumption at 12 cents a kilowatt. And there's a final piece of tape here on the bottom. Now this TV set has really nice edges on it. You can see it looks more like a picture frame, but it's not thin as some other TV sets that I have seen in the past. Now it is a little bit thicker as well because this is a direct lit backlight on this television set. However, that's going to give you much brighter picture overall. Here's a side look of the feet installed. And one thing that really stands out to me is that the TV set is a little bit wobbly with this type of design. You see what I'm talking about? On the front of the TV set, there's a standby light and there's some controls that you can use to get through some of the basic features of the TV set. So once you press the button, you can see you have some online controls right here and you have your power input, volume and channel up for people who are using over their antennas. And there is an LG NanoCell logo in the corner of the screen. On the back of the TV set, you're going to find two USBs, three HDMIs, and one antenna input. In addition to that, there's a LAN input as well as a digital output for going over to audio systems. Now, one thing this TV set doesn't have anymore is component video or composite videos, and there's no headphone output. And here we have the eARC, which is good for 7.1 uncompressed audio, but it doesn't give you 120 hertz gaming experience. You're also going to find some screw holes for mounting it on the wall, a ventilation system up here, and this is where you plug in the power input. Now, one thing I like about this TV set is it, it has a metal back. It's not plastic. So here's what it looks like on a computer, and I will tell you that it looks really good overall. It will support 4K up to 60 frames per second, so don't expect to get 120 hertz out of it. And here's an example with Final Cut Pro from my old place when I was just doing some offline test. Here's another example of what it looks like with the top stories that are happening today. And I will tell you there's a little bit of input lag compared to my computer, so let me show you that. So you can see my computer screen goes up, and there's a little slight delay on the TV set. So we'll check out the milliseconds in just a moment just to see how fast it responds. And here's another example with some Excel sheet templates. And one thing I noticed while I'm doing all the picture tests I'm going to do on a later video is that we're getting some dark areas right here on the side. Now let's take a look at some of the different picture profiles of the TV set. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pull up something that has a lot of colors in it from Apple. and. Uh, we'll see what it looks like on these profiles. So this is your cinema mode, your sports mode that's gonna bring out a lot more vivid colors, gaming optimization, filmmakers mode, expert brightness, expert darkness, and vivid. Now we use vivid, it's gonna use a little more energy, so you need to go ahead and press okay. But look at that, it is very bright and very vivid and back to standard mode that I normally have most of these TV sets on. And here's a look at the web OS 6.0. It has this new black design. And if you go up here, you have your application. You also have your home dashboard. And with sports alerts, you can set up your favorite teams. It also has a web browser, a media player for USBs. And over here, you can go and edit all your settings. Now, if you go down here, you have all your inputs and keep scrolling down. You can uh, look at some channels from LG if you're in an area that supports it. So it's a pretty nice interface and I'll make another video just showing you guys this if you wanna leave a comment below. So when it comes to audio, it's very important for a lot of people if they don't wanna add a soundbar. And I think you guys are gonna be very impressed how good this TV set actually sounds. What I'm gonna do is play some music for you guys and then I'm gonna launch a demo so you guys can see a little bit of the picture and hear the audio as well.
Now we'll tell you that the audio system on this TV set is great. And this is a feature I want to show you guys. It's called AI sound. And the cool thing is that you use this remote control and the microphone here. So the TV set can adjust itself with the room itself. So all you need to do, if you had a TV set like this, is go into your settings, go into your AI services, and then go right here where it says AI acoustic tuning. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit start new tuning. Once we get this, go and press start again. Then whenever you choose that particular profile in your sound settings, it will just sound based off your room. And there you go. So before I show you guys some gaming, let's go ahead and take a look at the input lag. Right now I have the TV set in standard mode. So it looks like you're going to get about 50, 47.1 milliseconds. And here's a test with the TV set in gaming mode. So it looks like we're getting about 9.8 milliseconds, which is pretty good considering if it gets 30 milliseconds or less, then you're doing pretty good. Now I'm going to show you guys some basic gaming on the Neo 75. Now there's a few things you need to do using like a PlayStation or Xbox. Now under the video settings, I'm going to leave everything automatic and then I'm going to go ahead and set up the HDR by turning it back on. And you can see the HDR logo popped up in the corner of the television set. Now for here, you can adjust the screen. Everything looks fine. And then I'm just going to adjust the HDR so it gets its best color. So going through these stages, we just want to make sure everything is where you can barely see it. Another thing I want to show you guys on this TV set, if you go into the menu, you have this sidebar. So right now I have it in game optimization mode, but you have these different HDR settings if you want to be a little brighter, but I'm going to leave everything in game optimization. There's also a game optimization for sound, which I showed you guys a minute ago. And with this little controller right here, you can press on it and you can then optimize the game even more so. So we can leave it off our own. You can set up for first person shooter, Role playing games, and that'll change the refresh rate on the TV set. Next, if your black levels are a little off, you can adjust them here, the same as the white levels. And if you're getting any type of blue tint, you can reduce that here at the bottom by turning that off and on. Now I'll show you guys what it performs like on gaming.
So here's my first impression of this television set. If you're gonna be gaming, you need to definitely play with those black levels because the contrast level on this TV set is insane to be an IPS panel. I really like the web interface that LG has, and I hope they continue to evolve that web OS to have more applications that I like. Overall, this TV set has really good colors, and I think you guys are gonna like it. So what I'm gonna do is, this is part one. I'm gonna make some more videos on this TV set before I move to the next one. But if you have questions, please go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Tech Steve, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.